G'day, Craig. How you going? I'm well, Brad. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Hey, look, thanks for getting me down to talk about Packard's driver training uh, options today. Uh, so you said on the phone you've had a couple of inquiries from customers about driver training and how it works? Yes. Yeah, yep. yeah. want to get a bit more understanding about that myself. Yeah. Great. So, uh, look, the first option, uh, or the first thing I'd like to talk about is um, is how they go about doing it. So mm -hmm. they can come in here to the dealership and talk to the sales crew. Uh, any, of the, any of the team here will be able to point them in the right direction. Uh, or there's another option that when a truck's ordered, they can literally tick a box yep. mm -hmm. uh, to select driver training as an option for the truck. So as the truck comes through the process of being built, it's flagged in our system, uh, I get notified, and, uh, and our team arranges the, the scheduling and we get in touch with the customer to find out what sort of training they'd like. Yep, yeah, okay, great. We have two main options and both can be tailored to customers' needs. We can do a vehicle introduction and familiarisation course where we hold a classroom presentation, discuss the vehicle controls, pre-start checks, driver's performance assistant, we'll do a vehicle walk around, we'll talk about fuel efficiency and driving, and we'll do an in-cab drive with everyone. The driver performance course focuses on vehicle efficiency and fuel consumption, passive and active vehicle safety features, and we target our training towards specialist instructions on how to reduce wear and tear on the vehicles. Do you get many drivers that don't really want to or need this training? Yeah, that's a really good point, Craig. I come across a lot of really good drivers, um, and we don't go in with the idea that we're there to retrain anybody. Um, mm -hmm. We're going in with the plan to educate people, to share information that we have about our vehicles. We want to make sure they get the best out of the vehicles, um, and that they understand all the systems and how they operate. From there, uh, we're going to look at the performance side of it, and let's face it, if we can keep performance high, and things like fuel efficiency up to a good standard, uh, the drivability of the vehicle, they're being gentle on the machine, mm -hmm. and total cost of ownership is going to drop. Yeah, right. So from there, profits go up. So it sounds like there's some good benefits. Um, where, where do we go from here? Uh, well, for today, uh, how about we step out and check out that 16 you've got out the front? Sure. Uh, so you've got a trailer. Yep. I'll, I'll show you exactly what I'd show a customer. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have a look at the starting state of the truck and then we'll, we'll go for a drive and see whether we can hone our skills a little bit. Yep. Um, and we'll see what the benefits are going to be like. How that sounds? Yeah, sounds good. You're let's in? do it. Righto, let's go. So here we've got the last drive of the truck and that has left us with a score of a total of 9%, coasting at 18% and gentle braking at zero. Uh, so the fuel economy is quite ordinary at this stage, sitting at 86.9 litres per 100, which is 1.15 kilometres per litre. Here we have the end results. So now we've got a total drive of 81%, coastings at 86, gentle braking's at 76, and the fuel economy is now sitting fairly good at 35.3 litres per 100, which is 2.83 kilometres per litre. So just in the drive we've done today, we're driving an extra kilometre and a half on each litre of fuel. Now granted, the trucks come off B-double work, and we rolled around town today in a single trailer. So to be fair, we've, we've got to take that into account. So the end result today is we have a vehicle that is far more fuel efficient. You can see that the driver would have more knowledge about the performance, daily checks, features and controls of the truck. At the end of the day, the cost of operating this truck to do the same job it did yesterday has improved and those savings will continue. So if one of your customers would like to know more information, they can contact their local Brown and Hurley dealership. Thank you.